For some reason, strangers just trust me with their secrets, with their life, and honestly, I really love that. When my bestie Nadia asked me, do you want to go to Amsterdam for New Year's with me? I knew I had to jump on this opportunity because we've been talking about doing this trip for so many years and the time was finally here. So I spontaneously booked a ticket three weeks before this trip even happened and I am so glad I did. You wanna smoke it now or? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we had such a wholesome and fun time just being our silly goofy selves while we explored the city. We saw a lot of art, we thrifted, and celebrated New Year's, which was our peak. We learned a lot about Amsterdam and the culture, and also learned a lot of lessons about ourselves and each other, which was so beautiful, and I feel like we deepened our friendship, which was really nice. So good. Best munchies. I absolutely love this exhibit at Foam. This is a photography museum. A lot of these photographs were partially created with AI and I honestly drew a lot of inspiration from this and I really want to create some cool stuff this year. And and we also saw a lot of short films and projects on femininity and what the female experience is like. I love that we had a lot of days of ease where we were very laid back, like this one where we were just sitting on the couch watching movies and doing our nails. These were just some press-ons that were just perfect for New Year's. And making a lot of my meals felt very grounding during this trip because I knew what was in this and I just felt so good nourishing my body while we were out and about and spending a lot of energy doing things. And look at this sweet little guy. This is Shiro and we were basically cat sitting for a friend of Nadia's. Good morning! It's another beautiful day in Amsterdam and today I'm doing a little solo adventure. Uh, my friend Nadia is going to join me later and I'm about to just go into the city and explore a little bit. I want to get a few souvenirs for friends and possibly some things for myself, but we'll see. Thankfully, we've had some days where we just did nothing and that really helped me because I am not the type of person that can just go, go, go. But yeah, today I'm gonna see what the city has in store for me and go in on my own, which is nice because I've already kind of seen the city on my own. I feel pretty comfortable with the transit system. I've honestly felt so safe going around alone and in general in the city, which is really nice. So yeah, let's go explore Amsterdam. <laughs> Thank you. 
This street is a vintage lover's paradise, to be honest. Candy had really amazing uh, women's shirts. I was like, oh, I want them all. We are on the journey of finding um, something cool. But also I found a lot of cool stuff that I just knew were not gonna fit me. So that's fine. You know, I hope whoever finds them, uh, loves them and wears them a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna look through some of these coats and see if I find anything. I am all thrifted out. I got a bunch of stuff. I got some things from Episode and I got some leather pants. Honestly, I had no intention of buying what I found, but they were just too good to pass on. Lately, I'm really curating my capsule wardrobe and my personal style, and I feel like that takes time. So if I see a piece that really speaks to me and fits me like a glove, like it was meant for me, I'm getting it. It's no, no questions asked. Honestly, not that expensive for what they are. I feel like if I found the same pieces in New York, they would be triple the price. And apparently this entire vintage market is here all year round, all the time, except for Sundays, which is incredible. So I'm really glad I came back here because we passed by this place on my first day here and I was like, I need to come back here. I need a thrift here. <laughs> I'm just taking all of this beauty in. The canals are just so incredibly beautiful. What? Beautiful. It's the first time I've ever done a solo trip slash, you know, meeting a friend in a foreign country. And I'm really loving it. Like I've definitely traveled with friends, but usually in Greece and in places I know. So this was just really special and I felt very, independent this entire trip and also just a lot of magic happened while I was here and it was very unexpected. For example, I'll give you a little story time of what happened the other day. We went to the Stedelijk Museum, um, which is a modern art museum here in Amsterdam. And basically my friend wanted to keep uh, looking around the museum. I pretty much saw everything I wanted to see and was getting kind of hungry. And my friend and I totally understand each other. So like whenever one of us needs like alone time, we're like, yeah, go do it. So I went to this little soup cafe and I went there in the rain, <laughs> no umbrella, just vibes. And I got soaking wet, but besides the point, I had a little soup, a little salad, started reading my book. And it was just such a nice, you know, quiet time to myself, which I really liked. So basically the server came up to me and asked me what I was reading and opened up about his life and just started telling me his life story basically. And I don't know about you, but I feel like that happens a lot to me. For some reason, strangers just trust me with their secrets, with their life. And honestly, I really love that. He was telling me about the fact that years ago he had his own business and he had it for a really long time. It was going really well. But at one point he lost some family members back to back and that really depressed him. He was going through a lot and that took a toll on the business and basically the business went bankrupt he pretty much lost a lot of things his wife left him after that he trauma dumped a little bit but i was here for it like i love that i am somebody that doesn't like small talk and if you get right into the deep nitty gritty stuff of your life like i'm here for it he was like yeah i lost everything and nobody was really there for me and i was really sick and tired of my shit after a while of just being depressed and not wanting to live my life to the fullest and not liking what i was doing with my life and he was being very honest at one point and he was like i had to change myself and had to be honest with myself in order to change my surroundings and my environment i don't know why but at that point in the conversation i was just like damn i feel like i really needed to hear that because it really resonated with me and not in a way that i'm going through something similar to that right now but i have in the past and that is the same conclusion I came to. I told him, wow, like 
you know, that takes a lot of strength and wanting to change your life is a really, really big step. He told me that he then traveled for a while, backpacked around the world and really found himself in what he wanted to do and loved what he was doing. It was just very inspirational. When you lose everything, you also gain everything. Whatever is lost comes back to you in other forms. And that's just how I understood it. It was a really beautiful talk and I was like, thank you for sharing. That was really deep and beautiful. And I felt like I needed to hear that. And he was like, yeah, of course. And like, that was, that was our talk. Like we just went into it. I really, really love little wholesome moments like that with strangers. When I'm approached by men, especially, I feel like they always want something out of me. And this was one of the times where it was just like, you know, a friendly chat. He just wanted a chat. And then he made me tea. That was so cute. We're all human at the end of the day and it's really nice to share our struggles and find meaning in our pain because life always entails that too. Pain is also beautiful in a way. And I really understood that um, on this trip actually because I've been ending the year on a really good note and I've had a lot of fun this year, but I also had a lot of pain this year. It feels like all the pain I felt has been equalized with all the beautiful things I experienced too. So like I experienced really, really bad, painful moments, but I also experienced really beautiful, enriching moments as well. That is all I had to say. <laughs> I feel like I've been talking for hours. Let's go get a snack. Let's go get a snack. We deserve it. We deserve a little treat after all this thrifting. <laughs> If only I could finish something Run straight through to the end Close the chapter dignified Give them oh, those are nice. As a gift to my friend. I love. I love it and the color too and everything. More leather. <laughs> I got three leather pants. Oh, wow. Okay, listen. Look at these. Sweet. These are low waist, bell bottomed, seventies leather pants. Mm -hmm. They're a little baggy and they're. <sighs> I'm gonna try them on. I think I'm gonna wear these tonight. Okay, cool. I couldn't decide between that one and this ah! one. I first found this pair, but then I saw that pair and I was like, mm. I bought a good one. This is also another okay. pair of leather pants, baggy, but more of like a boyfriend loose type of situation. That's little. <laughs> it's so cute. Wait, oh, this way. Oh, my. Okay. See. I got a lot of bottoms, basically. <laughs> That's everything I got. Nice! <laughs> a little day trip to Leiden today. It is so beautiful out here. Um, I actually lost my friends so I'm going to find them right now. They just sent me their location but I'm just taking it all in. There's some ice skating around here, a lot of like little shops, delicacies, markets. We are on the hunt for some thrift stores. We're gonna go look at some thrift stores. Oh that looks like a thrift store. Okay I see my friends. They're there.
hello. <laughs> this is my good friend Nadia, and we're getting ready for New Year's. And I want to do her makeup. I've never, I've never done your makeup. No, not really. No. So we do some skincare first. I have these little travel size goddess products. Goddess <laughs> always. Wow, dude, you've got great skin. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> We're going to this party tonight and I don't know what to expect. I want like a crazy look. A crazy I look? Like clown, I want clown makeup. Okay. <laughs> I'll do clown makeup. Yeah. Like clown vogue. Clown vogue makeup. Mm -hmm. Bet. Bet. I got you. <laughs> Bet. I got you, girl. Do a little eyelash. Mm. Make a New Year's wish. <gasps> <laughs> Has anybody ever done your makeup before? Like somebody else? Yeah. Wow. Shit. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, mama. Bruh. Yeah. You look so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so dewy. Yeah, very dewy. Mm. But I, I will put some powder too. I don't know where we'll be in two hours, like to be honest. Or yeah. three hours. I don't know where the fuck we'll be. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that we're both very like spontaneous. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> love it. You can look in the mirror too here. Mm -hmm. Oh, it looks so good in the mirror. Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Magic. I have this brown lipstick too. Ah, Huda. Ah, uh, yeah. We support Huda, by the way. We she, support Huda Beauty. She supports Palestine. It's great. She says she wanted to give clown. We're giving clown. <laughs> yes. I'll add some like shiny stuff. Mm. But yeah, I think we're done. I'm good. Yeah. I never really listened to Greek music growing up, but like I'm growing to appreciate it yeah. now, like later in life. Yeah. <laughs> Even just for shits and giggles. Exactly. My bangs are finally long enough to be put back. Final look. Woo! And now we're gonna get dressed and pick up this mess. But I really like it. Oh my god, look! Glitter. Yes, <laughs> the glam. Woo. Witchy realness. Oh, no. Serve.